Dr. P, we are talking Korean entertainment. Today's subject, a long version I think, Sa Ye Ji. Sa Ye Ji, terrific actress, had a scandal a couple of years back, and well, let's just get into the nitty gritty. It looks like she had her final court case against Yuhan Pharmaceuticals. And the court found that none of the allegations were provable. So, Sayeji and her agency gold medalist did not have to pay back approximately 2 billion won. A million something for her, or a billion something for her, and a billion something for the agency. That got thrown out. But, there is a, in the contract, there is a stipulation. So they do have to pay half of the modeling fee that she got back. About 225 million won, which is about 170, $72,000. By the way, which is what she makes <laughs> per episode. So basically, she had to pay back whatever her, if she was doing a drama, her fee per episode. One, one episode she would have to pay back. <laughs> That's amazing. Anyway, now, the court also said that Sai A.G. didn't have to pay it back. She, she didn't have to pay anything. But her agency gold medalist would have to pay it back. Now, Sai A.G.'s a champ. What did Sai A.G. do? 225 million won. So Sai Yeji turned around and wrote a check to gold medalist for 200 million won. What a champ. What a girl. What a human being. She didn't have to, but she did. Which is great. Now, so what's going on here? Remember 4-12-2021. Dispatch put out a bunch of crap. A bunch of text on Kakao Talk. Kakao Talk, however you want to say it. Between Sayeji and Kim Jong Hyun. Now, they only showed one side of the text. Just a little snippet. Just one side, and only Sayeji, basically. And, of course, it was in a negative light. You didn't see how it started, which he did. You didn't see anything in between. You didn't see anything after. Just that little snippet. Derailed her. She gave up a drama. Was out for seven months completely came back and did Eve but a lot of hate a lot of hate and of course this final here this final lawsuit which in all in, for all intents and purposes she has won so ever since she debuted in 2013 2013 it's 2023 she debuted in 2013 and already the crap started. I don't know what people have against this girl. She was a young girl then, in her 20s, early 20s. They said she had surgery to change her face. They put up a picture of a girl in a little school uniform and saw AG and they said, that's then, this is now. There's only one problem. The girl they depicted was not Soy AG. How do we know that? Because Soy AG and her agency at that time, which was not gold medalist, but somebody else, anyway, they released a picture, a photo of her in her middle school uniform. What do you know? She looked a lot like she does now. Nothing like the girl they depicted. But they ignored that. People just ignored that. Then there was cases of her being mean and rude to staff. Except nobody came forward. No one came forward. There were rumors, but no one came forward and said, yes, she did that to me. Nope. But on contrary, people did come forward from her staff and other staff and everything and said, she's a, she's a doll. She treated us better than anybody. But they ignored that. Then there was the thing that she lied about her education. But she really didn't. She never lied about her education. She never said she graduated anything. She went. She said she went to school. She did. In Spain. She did. Then she came home. Wanted to have her teeth worked on. Came home to see her orthodontist. Got hooked up with the agency to, that signed her to begin with. And she was off to the races. So that was the end of school. That was it. They ignored that. 
<laughs> and then the Kim Jong Hyun thing. Now Kim Jong Hyun came out. He waited 30 days for her to get run, rung over the coals, literally. But after 30 days, he finally said, "Oh, you know what? So yeah, you really had nothing to do with that. That was all me. I was sick. I didn't want to do that. I was having a mental breakdown. I really didn't want to be in that show." But my agency made me be in the show anyway. And now that I'm done with that agency, I can tell you the truth. So AG had nothing to do with it. From him and from his lawyer. <laughs> Both. Both. They ignored that. They just ignored it. So now we come to the end. So AG has won in court. She has been out of the limelight since Eve ended. Oh, I got, what, 17 months ago? So, she's clear, free and clear now. Uh, it depends. We don't know if she's going to re-sign with gold medalist or not. I think she should. But a lot of people think she should. And they will work that out. But I think now it is time for casting news. So, yeah, G has basically been exonerated. She did have to pay a fine because it was in the contract. You can't... It was in there. So, so they just did what was in the contract. But... No fines, no penalties, no nothing. Because the courts sided with Soyeji. Not you, Han, and everybody else, for some reason, is out to get her. Mm -mm. Nope, did not happen. So, Soyeji wins. We all win. We will see this wonderful actress soon. And that's it for me for today. Soyeji wins. Like, subscribe, share, would greatly appreciate it. Dr. P signing out.